Hello, boys and girls. We're on our third part of our field trip. We are now in Nebraska and we're going to go to the corn mazes of Nebraska. So on this project, I already have the sprite and I already did a background. Now, we're going to be making a maze. So this doesn't really work as a maze. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to draw my own maze, kind of like we drew our own characters, but this time we're going to draw our own background. So you're going to click here and you're going to go to the paintbrush. And I'm going to show you how to draw a corn maze. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to name it corn maze. And so one thing I want to do is I want to use these squares. So the first thing I want to do is, so then I'm going to first thing, let's pick a color. Like corn mazes are usually kind of a dark, you see the green. So I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to turn the whole screen. I'm going to click it to vector and switch the whole thing to green. So now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to use my square tool. So I'm going to switch back over here and I'm going to switch, make my square tool. And you want to probably do a darker color or pick a color that's not close to this color at all. So, and it doesn't really matter what color, but I'm just going to do black. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am just going to draw a black square. Okay, and now I can click on it and I can, I do, I can duplicate it. So I can do Command C, Command V, or there's a button up here that says copy and paste. So either one works. And then you're just going to be copying and pasting several squares to start making a maze. And as, um, as you are doing this, then you are going to be creating your maze and you want to have lots of different paths and you want a definite ending. Okay, so and you, as you are doing this, you see I'm just kind of making a maze and you can see the shapes can overlap because they're all black. So you don't see any other color, which that's why black's a good one to do. And then you just keep going and doing that. Command C, Command V, move them around you can rotate them you can turn them the way you want to you can have dead ends and um just you get to have fun and create that your own maze on how you want it to look what you want it to do it's really kind of a fun project that you get to be super creative on and get to do kind of your own things so now i have um so now, as you see, I'm kind of just making this little maze and I'm just kind of having some fun with it now. Um, so now I'm going to do a different color square this time and you can choose a different color because part of your maze is you are going to want to have an end. So wherever your thing ends, have an ending part and then just kind of make your ending be a different color. Okay, so this will be your end and I can click on the text box right here and I could say exit. Oh, make sure, oh, make sure if you are using the text box, change your color so that you can read it. Exit. So now I know that my character has to go through here. Now the cool thing about this is after I make this, I could hit, um, duplicate or a new one and then I could move them around and make and now I could click on them and move them around and change positions and make a new thing so you one of the cool things about this is you can make as many as you want or however you want yours to look it's kind of up to you how you want that to look so that is how you will draw your maze to get to um, to get through your maze and then I have the first one so this is where he'll come out after the maze so I am just going to go ahead and move this one up here so that way I know it's first and then this one will be second. Okay, that is a simple way on how you can draw a corn maze and you get to be as creative as you want. Have fun.